Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ja Rulian. If you're new, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I skate and I like to have a good time. But I don't just make TikTok videos. I've been skateboarding for 15 years and I've just recently been featured by Thrasher Magazine, which is still unreal. On this channel, we skate, we vlog, we go on adventures, and we have a lot of fun. Today, I got 10 types of skate content for posting on social media. The first one is raw clips. It could be in the streets, park, anywhere really. It can involve stairs, rails, handrails, ledges, bowls, ramps, anything of the sort. The main thing here is there's no music and virtually no editing. You filmed it on your camera phone, an HD camera, or a VX and you just put the clip out as it is. If you're looking to get sponsored, skate shops typically like to look at raw clips just so that there's no distractions and they can focus on the level of difficulty of your tricks. Number two is skate edits. Whether it's you or the homies, it could be street, park, bowl, anywhere really. It's just a variety of tricks that you guys get together and slap together with some music. Ultimately, because there's so much going on, its shareability is very low. Number three is single clips. Single clips do really well because it's in isolation. It's usually just one trick with no music, slow-mo or no slow-mo, and everybody's commenting on one thing and it's gonna be replayed a whole bunch because you might not have seen it the first time, you might not understand it, you're still wigging out and freaking out, and it's gonna be shared a whole lot because of the comments everybody's commenting on that one thing. So this is your best chance to go viral, so single clips. Number four is reposts. You can repost yourself or another skater. So if you repost someone else, make sure you tag the skater. That's very, very important. It's too many times where you see skate pages post other skaters and they don't credit them and they have a hundred thousand views and then they get another five hundred thousand views after that initial repost because five other pages wanted to repost it as well and all of them give no credit so if you can credit the skater credit them if you don't know their name just ask like who is this skater and credit the filmer as well if you can number five is skate skits so skate skits you can go anywhere with them it's usually skating, acting, and music. A lot of people say it's a gimmick, but it's intended to be lighthearted, comedic, and relatable for our community. So with that in mind, skate sets are very fun to make and fun to watch. Number six is skate compilations. It's usually just a bunch of skate clips put together with music or without music. Usually very long, and it takes a very invested viewer, already part of the skate community, to watch the whole thing through. Viewers can lose interest very easily, so just keep that in mind. Number seven is tripod clips. Try and stay away from tripod clips. You can use them, it's just they don't do well, typically because it's not engaging for the viewer, especially if you're across the whole skate park and you're trying to film something. You might as well just come back with the homie and have the homie film you, for real. Number eight is trendy edits. Contrary to popular belief, they can be very fun and entertaining to watch. So as I understand it, it's high fashion and skateboarding coming together to create a subculture within the skate community. So that means slow motion, trap music, jewelry, clothing, shoes, a lot of hype around skateboarding. If you're very into fashion and very into skateboarding, it's very entertaining to watch and I'll leave it there. Number nine is trick tips. So trick tips could be how to ollie, kickflip, shove it, or 180. A lot of people are coming into skateboarding and they need some pointers. So it's a quick explanation of the mechanics of the trick, a quick demonstration of the trick, and then troubleshooting on actually completing the trick itself. These videos have music, they have slow-mo, and they're very entertaining to watch and very informative. And number 10 is hijinks. Baker 3 comes to mind. It's usually behind the scenes footage, things that just happen along a skate trip, like paying a ticket, getting a flat tire, talking to police, talking to security, hopping fences, that sort of stuff, and just a good mixture of just good energy, um, very entertaining content, and basically just memories for good times. If you found this video very informative, leave a like for the algorithm and subscribe. I'm Ja Rulian, and I'm trying to give away a board every single month. No cap. Right? So you can learn more about that in the link in the description. And this shit merch is also in the description below. And as always, guys, I'm out.